All right, turning to weather today, we saw what was left of Monday snow melt away. It was nice to see the sunshine. Meteorologist Michelle Boss is joining us now to talk about changes on the way. Yeah, I'm sure some folks were excited to have the snow on the ground. Kind of gives it that festive wintry look. Of course, that is gone and we're not looking at any additional snow accumulations over the next couple of days. Could see a little bit messier weather for Saturday, which might bring us a little bit of accumulating snow, but it looks like it's going to be pretty sloppy today, though. Pretty quiet, uh, dry weather in the Spokane area and high temperatures back up in the lower 40s. Of course, yeah, that helped to melt any remaining snow out of the way and low 50s again across far southeastern Washington, south central Washington, Tri Cities 56 degrees, 53 in Lewiston, 51 in Walla Walla, getting a little bit cooler air back into the area, but should be relatively quiet over the next couple of days. Taking a look at our rain and snow stats for this month, 10th of an inch of liquid and snow equivalent precipitation for December. That amounts to about two inches of snow and for the season, uh, it's kind of a slow start only at four inches right now. We're a little bit below average for snowfall. 29 degrees out there right now. No snow in the area tonight. It should be pretty quiet overnight, but skies will be coming mostly cloud be becoming mostly cloudy again. A few snow showers are possible tomorrow afternoon and evening, but not expecting any accumulations here locally. Should be a dry day on Friday. Saturday is really the day uh, us meteorologists are going to be focusing on because it looks like it's going to be windy and it's going to be another one of those situations where we're going to see a little rain, a little snow and the snow could possibly be heavy before it changes over to rain. So Certainly something if you have some plans for Saturday morning, you'll want to stay abreast of the forecast for that day. Otherwise, we have a northwesterly flow across the region right now. A little bit of energy coming in out of southwestern British Columbia, northwestern Washington. That will make it into our area by tomorrow afternoon. So again, could spit out a few snow showers, but nothing significant. In the lower elevations, we are expecting a continuation of pretty snowy conditions, not only across the Cascades, but the central Panhandle Mountains. So if you need to go up in those higher elevations, prepare for winter driving. Uh, as we kind of time through the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, this is Thursday morning. Cloudy skies, but pretty dry here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. But again, continued snow for the Cascades, snow showers across uh, places like Lookout Pass. A few snow showers possible through the afternoon and evening, and then just a dry day on Friday in the lower elevations. But more snow in the Cascades, more snow in the central panhandle as we move into Friday night into Saturday, starting to see the signs of rain and snow moving into central Washington and eastern Washington and north Idaho again for potentially messy conditions for tomorrow, though, quiet 37 degrees in OMAC 40 in Moses Lake could see some sunshine out there. 33 in Deer Park, a cooler day tomorrow with highs in the lower to mid 30s, around 40 in Lewiston, but only 33 in Colville. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Saturday does look like the messy, windy, snowy, rainy day and then plenty more chances for snow, not only in the lower elevations, but the mountains will continue uh, to recharge with snow. So hopefully some of those ski resorts can open up as soon as this weekend. We certainly know they need it. They're anxious to get out there. Thanks very much, Michelle.